Ferrari looked awful. Max on easy mode all weekend. He got bailed out by Logan Sargent's safety car. We knew from the very beginning that it would be a step. Why does Checo have a new contract with Red Bull? Ferrari's got some work to do. Didn't even finish the race. One of these for Max. Is this what you people felt about Schumann? This is Fan First Network. George Russell finishes at the top of qualifying by literally zero seconds. Tell me what you saw. Crazy. I mean, Verstappen must be pissed. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. We got him tomorrow, bro. You think he's still going to win? Yeah, right? Of course, man. He was a little bit if he would have set up this weekend. Like, all the whole weekend, he hasn't really been feeling it. But, you know, vamos Verstappen. Come on, baby. He's going to win tomorrow. Trust me. I saw Ferrari struggle a little bit. I think, like, the conditions today didn't favor the Ferrari. Yeah. I know they have some issues warming up the tires. Probably put them in a bad window, yeah. especially with the rain and stuff. Uh, but I'm happy to see, like, Russell and Mercedes on top, mainly because that still helps us in the constructors' battle. There's a lot of guys going hard on the paint, and uh, we love watching them, like, especially around the hairpin turn. And, uh, yeah, definitely, it was, it was good. As a Hamilton fan, like, I feel like yeah. it's it's tough weekend week, we got. Yeah. He was second on the U set, and then he came into the fresh set, and... Just He's did supposed nothing. to be like really strong at the Canadian Grand Prix too, and like so maybe he'll pull like maybe he'll pull it together tomorrow. But I, I don't know. Seventh is like that's his worst ever finish and qualifying at the Canadian Grand Prix. I mean, the Mercedes looked quick all weekend. I didn't expect it. I thought the Ferraris and the McLarens were gonna um, be the top four, but you know Ferraris got some work to do. A couple backfires. It didn't sound great. So I'm not sure what's going on with them. Fred Vesser can't be pleased. All the Mercedes power unit cars, they had way more acceleration out of that corner. Ferrari was lacking a little bit, and I was like, come on, guys. Like, you know, I had to give me a drink because I was like, what the? <laughs> it's tough. This is tough, man. After Monaco GP, fuck. We were sitting uh, behind a couple Mexican fans. Actually, like, I think, like, a good <laughs> six of them. Couple they were months. they were a little fuming after Q1. I was going to say, I'm sure those were some very happy people. Yeah. <laughs> why? What happened there, and why does Checo have a new contract with well, Red Bull? Right? Exactly. <laughs> like, this is, what, the third Q3 he gets booted out of? Because he brings in an enormous amount of money. I honestly, I'm no idea. I don't know what's going on in that team, man. I mean, they they gotta call up someone new, maybe like Liam Lawson or something. Yeah, Dude is mid. Dude, is mid. Dude, Dude just got a new contract, but is so mid. We're in year three of Checo in the same equipment as Verstappen, and he still can't compete. It's time to move on from this guy and bring up somebody else from the reserve squad. Why did he get a new contract? Your guess is as good as mine. I wouldn't have given it to him. Bring it in that sponsorship money, that's why. At the end of the day, it's a business. It's like any sport, you know, you're losing Adrian Newey, so, you know, you got to keep check around, keep the money involved, maybe hire another engineer. So let's yeah, talk yeah. about Lewis Hamilton. He's my favorite racer as well, and he's moving to Ferrari at the end yes. of this and season. So are we. So are we. <laughs> so are we. I will, I'm actually learning Italian right now. We're just glazers, what can I say? <laughs> good for the sport. I'm an AMG. Hamilton fan. So not good for you. Not good for me. Will you stick with AMG Mercedes? No. No, I'm Hamilton all the way. I'm happy to see Hamilton come in the seat. I love Carl Sainz, but like, you know, it's gonna make big big waves for us. I think he's a little he's a little past his prime, but you know, we'll see what happens at Ferrari. I'm excited to see what happens to be honest. I think it's a good move and I think he's gonna do very well in a Ferrari. I think he can make a difference. I think like just the way that he sets up the car and deals with the engineers is probably gonna be, you know, a good thing for Ferrari and you know how they set up the car for the weekend. And that'll probably help them in quality, like, because we suck yes. today. I'm a little I'm a little disappointed that Sainz is leaving. It hurts because I'm a Saints fan as well. He's my second favorite driver, so hopefully we'll find Saints a seed. Hopefully, you know, maybe Sauber, maybe Merck, who knows? Lance Stroll is our Canadian representative on this grid. How, as Canadian fans, do we feel about Lance Stroll? I mean, it was kind of cool to see him do something today. I think he was excited to see a Q3. Yeah, he was. He, he didn't know that happened. <laughs> he's all right. <laughs> Honestly, he's pretty over overhated. Like he made it into Q3 this time in Aston Martin, who hasn't been doing good this year. So I think I think he's all right. He's not too bad. He struggled, struggled dearly. Um, this is home track. He looked pretty good today. He looked yeah. quick. Lance Stroll, he did his job today. You he know, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Really, Fair like enough. it's good to see him in Canada. You know, doing his thing, you know, uh, on other tracks, uh, I don't really know so much. I think he deserves to be an F1. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's hard given that his dad owns the team. He's going to be hated no matter They're what. They're really trying the merch. They really had a grandstand. They're giving away hats. Like, they love it. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're sitting in the Lance Stroll grandstand, so we got to cheer for our boy. We're in Montreal. I love Lance Stroll. <laughs> that's the right answer. Thank you. I think that's the only answer we're actually allowed to say. Who's going to win the race? The Oilers? <laughs> I should have expected that. I should have expected that answer to be fair.
Max Verstappen wins the Canadian Grand Prix. As usual. Yeah. As usual. About right. Tell me what you saw over the course of the race today. Um, it was a really good race. I expected Max to win. I saw Max Verstappen dominate as he always does. He does what Max does. It's I don't, how do you compete with it? How do you do it? Like you can't. You how can't. do you? He's, he's always there. He's just so consistent. It's, Piss me off, it really does. <laughs> he got bailed out by Logan Sargent's safety car. <laughs> he fucking did. Winners win. Who gives a fuck? We knew from the very beginning that it would be a stamp. Max on easy mode all weekend. That's, that's what it is. I mean, look, at the end of the day, Max is just so freaking good, especially in the rain. And then after that safety car with the takeoff, it was done. Done. Ten laps ago, <laughs> safety car uh, takes off Max. Uh, yeah, good shit. <laughs> I, I think Lando had a good first stint of the race, though. Look at Hamilton from seventh, finishes fourth. So yeah. let's go. Hamilton's so good in Canada, man. Always. Happy Hamilton had a great race. George took it from him, unfortunately. Uh, they were they're they too much infighting. They just need they're on the same team. Be yeah. friends, guys. I liked what I saw from um, the McLaren team. They were really fast in the wet. And Mercedes gave them a run for their money, so it was a good race overall. I saw a lot of action, way more than we've seen in the past couple yes. of races. I'll wait to the next race to get excited. Yes, so fine, for now, I'm, 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 I'm just holding on and I'm being hopeful that the, the good performance continues, you know? Ferrari had a tough one. <laughs> they did. What went wrong? Uh, I think it has to do with the rain. Rain is a part of F1, though. It is. <laughs> terrible. They didn't even make uh, Q2 qualifying, and then they didn't even finish the race. So, very disappointed, actually. I saw them put hards on, and I knew my weekend was over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all did. Everybody watching knew. And, uh, basically, I was just, I was just ready to leave at that point. Very, very devastating to see both Leclerc take a gamble and it not work out, yeah. and then, uh, Carlos unfortunately crashing. Who do you think was the best performing team this weekend and who do you think was the worst performing team this weekend? Oh, Ferrari looked awful. Oh, it looked awful God. all day. Yeah. Um, I think I think McLaren looked good. Yeah, I did. think, again, you can put some respect on their name. They, they do well. They do hard. I think, yeah, I think Mercedes looked good, but yeah, I think Max just makes Red, Red Bull just look the best. Yeah. I want to say Mercedes. They kind of had a comeback this weekend, but yeah. I'm not even going to lie. George on pole, that was crazy. And they were fast all they weekend. Were fast. They were fast throughout the race, too. I was so surprised. Their car has, like, jumped from here to, like, here. Mercedes did a really great job. I was impressed with yeah. Mercedes. Yeah, I was really bummed yeah. with Sergio. Yeah. yeah. Best performing team for me would be Mercedes. Yep. Worst performing Ferrari. <laughs> Thank you. I was yeah. going to say, I was, I was going to say between Ferrari and Alpine, but Alpine is, yeah. like, consistently bad yeah, so exactly. i'll say i'll say ferrari you know yeah. it was it was not expected yeah. alpine have a bad level <laughs> ferrari just like had an ferrari awful week <laughs> out of nowhere it was just bad I, I don't i don't hate the mclaren call no. i'd love to say ferrari but god damn aston martin <laughs> was that for both Yes. I like watching Aston Martin. I thought they did really well with what they held and where they were. Both cars were together. Yeah. And it's good to see Lance do that. Uh, in, in his home race. With a, yeah, especially with Alonzo, the way he always races. So it was good to see those guys, guys race. It was a good job for them. Lance Stroll's a daddy's boy, but that's a different story. He is. Um, Lance Stroll is a daddy's boy. But Lance, okay, he is still an acceptable driver. He's all right. He's all right. But, like, he probably should be in F1. Not at Aston Martin. That's 50 out of the last 75 wins for Max Verstappen. 50. So... How close is he getting to Lewis? And is he getting close? He must be. Yeah, absolutely. He really is, yeah. And he's still very young. Yeah. I mean, he's got a long, long career. It's the car. I think you can put, like, half the grid on that car, and you'll get it. Mind you, the check goes in the other car. Uh, yeah, it's not the same results. You you it's definitely Max. It's the Max Verstappen show. You, if you don't like him being out in front and winning, he's going to keep being out in front and winning, I think. Is this what people used to feel about Schumacher? Yeah. Like, I caught the end of Schumacher. Yeah. Is this what you people felt about Schumacher? DRS is going out the window. The cars are getting narrower. What do you think about the changes? I like the changes. Uh, smaller cars, maybe more aerodynamic, weight yeah. reduction. Um, it'll be fun to see with no DRS, because DRS seems to be a big part right now. It but is. without it, it becomes more skill-based, I, I believe. Yeah. So I it's cool that they're keeping the wheels the same size. Yes. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's It'll be more competitive. I'm fine with DRS gone, because every time someone gets it, they just get the pass. It'll make the racing better at like the tighter tracks. It'll be big. It'll be good. It might save the Monaco Grand Prix. Having the DRS gone, it makes it seem more getting to be like IndyCar. 
where they're using some type of electronics now instead of uh, having having the rear yeah, ring. So we don't have any V8s or V10s though moving into the car. It never you? will. It never it's will. It's done. Yeah, they want to move to what is it called? Fuel in 2030. They do. But we we travel from Canada back to Europe, back to America, back to Europe, and that's fine. We burn that gas. Why not? Why not burn the V12? 100. percent I think it's. I don't, they don't even sound that good anymore. Like this is Van First Network. So they're going real fast. Real fast and right and left. Both. Bit of both. Bit of both. Right and left. Real fast and real left, son. They're going fast and left.